Hey everyone and welcome back to another Cooking with Positive Smash. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day today. We are going to be making some white bean chili. First I'm going to start off by cleaning off the top of all of the cans because I'm neurotic and I, I just know the little mice have ran my little nasty ass feet all over my cans. It's just, a, it's a good, good precaution, you know? You never know what could have touched the top of these cans. One more. And the, we'll go over ingredients. Ingredients are two cans of navy beans, one can of cannellini beans, uh, one or two crushed or diced tomatoes. I'm going to add one and see if I need to add the second one. A can of diced green chilies. I chose to get the hot ones instead of mild. Some vegetable broth. A white onion. A garlic clove. Some olive oil. Oregano and cumin. Or if you're Teresa Giudice, cumin. I'm going to be putting some cum in my soup. Oh no, that sounds horrible. <laughs> that was awful. Pepper, salt, and some red pepper flakes. And I've got some from our pizza place. I don't have any loose ones, so whatever. Um, I'm going to tilt you down and we are going to dice up this onion and the garlic. Okay, yes, I am wearing sweatpants. What about it? <laughs> I'm in a sassy mood today. Okay, the onion, I, we're just going to need a half a cup of that. So probably about half of the onion, and it says chopped. Chopped, not diced or minced. Chopped. Like the TV show. I used to really... Love that show. I used to really love TV in general. I was a TV addict as a child. I had like a problem. I think that's why, well, I can't totally blame my vision on that because my grandma and grandpa both have horrible vision. But I always blamed it on sitting way too close to the TV because, girl, I would sit like right up against that TV. Get rid of that. So chopped. I'll cut it three times. I don't know how many that was. Five, six. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. If you didn't know how to cut an onion like that, you gotta do it. Because look, I'm already done. That was easy. Um, and that is more than a half a cup, I'm sure. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. I'm not going to add all that mess. Some garlic. I'm just going to make this my little compost pile. Forgot to bring my bin over here. And I think two garlic cloves. How's everyone doing? I hope good. Sorry, I'm just reading if it, garlic minced. You know, one of my favorite share songs is Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves, but that's like seen as politically incorrect so I can't really sing that but I love that song just the cadence of it not even the words just the it kind of reminds me of Fiddler on the Roof if I was a rich man then I'd have all the money in the world if I was a wealthy man, if I was a rich man. Okay, back to cooking. 
He sings, a, there's a bunch more words in that song. I have not seen Fiddler on the Roof since I was 12 or something. And I'm starting to get really old. Not really, just moderately. Okay, our garlic is minced. I think at this point we're just going to move you over to the stove top. Okay, we are over the pot. I'm going to turn it up to medium. And we are going to put in here... <laughs> the oil and the onions. So the oil is a tablespoon. I don't measure with oil. I just kind of eyeball it. Which is funny. I was making a ramen the other day and I was like, oh, I'm just going to eyeball the cup or two cups. And then I was like, no, I should uh, measure it. And then I looked, I was like right on the money. Which I actually like a little more water in my ramen because I like to get a little more broth. You know what I mean? Okay, so the oil is heating up. We're going to just feel it. It's probably about good. Not quite a sizzle, but it's olive oil, so the more you heat it up, the more kind of toasty it's going to get tasting. And I can already smell the olive oil heating up. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna saute these for a couple minutes. Maybe I'll speed this up. It's just a lot of footage to have to edit, you guys. So the garlic got a little toasty, but I actually like my garlic a little more caramelized. <clears throat> okay, let's see what the next step is. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Add the chilies, garlic, cumin, sugar. I'm not adding sugar, fuck that. I'm not adding cloves. Red peppers, chili powder, tomatoes. Reduce heat till simmer. Until the tomatoes are soft in five minutes. Since I'm adding already soft tomatoes, I don't have to do that. Add the broth, bring to a boil, cover, and reduce heat for 15 minutes. And then you're going to add the beans 15 minutes later and cook it until it's thickened. So I'm going to add the broth and all the spices right now. Oh, well, I guess I'll add the tomatoes too. Since we're kind of going in a weird order, I'll just do that. And then we'll come back and have the beans in a second. I have to rinse out the beans anyways, so in the time that it's taking the uh, broth and tomatoes to kind of reduce, I think 
they said. This is what they did. Three fresh tomatoes, about one and a half pounds, or one can of dice. Okay, one can. But I didn't know if it meant a can like this, a small can, or a big can. Because they have huge cans of these two. I guess we'll just do one can then of the tomatoes. I don't think I'm going to add all of these. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to add almost them all. Hopefully it won't be too spicy. If it is, I can always add more broth. Uh, speaking of, two cups of broth. I didn't add the spices. You're supposed to add the spices first. It doesn't matter. It's all going to end up marinating and cooking together anyways. It does matter for things that need to be like toasted a little bit, but I don't think anything here is really that fancy. A teaspoon of oregano, and this is probably... Exactly a teaspoon. I'm going to add that last little bit. Um, the cumin. One and a half teaspoons. One. And then, this is a quarter, so one. Two. And then, not adding triggers, not adding cloves. A quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper. That wasn't quite that much because I've already got some hot shit in there. I added some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper is here. cups of broth. Oh, I gotta shake it. When you shake it when it's already open, it's so dangerous. So in the meantime, I'm going to rinse all of the beans. So I'm going to set a timer for 15 minutes. Kind of let this just go. I'll be right back. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. It has quite reduced. I'm grabbing some beans over here to add to the soup. Chili. Yes, beans. Okay, I'm going to put the oven on because I'm going to be making some cornbread. I 
And then this is going to cook for another probably 15 or 20 minutes until it's nice and thick and the beans are nice and beautiful. So I will come back in 15 minutes and show you guys what it looks like. I'm just going to leave it on kind of in between medium and medium high. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. I'm going to add a little bit more vegetable broth because as you can see, it's quite thick. So I'm going to add just, just a little more because I'm going to keep boiling it for another 15 minutes while my cornbread cooks. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I added this. And in the next 15 minutes, it's probably going to reduce and go back to what it looked like. So I'll be right back. All right, so just like I said, it would be about what it looked like before, just a little bit of um, vegetable broth and stuff left in there. Probably needs a little bit of salt. The cornbread is done. Oh, and it smells phenomenal. It smells so good. Add a little more salt. Maybe a touch of pepper. Loose. Turn that down to low. I'm gonna tilt you guys up and say goodbye. If you guys enjoyed tonight's cooking with positive smash, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. I make new videos Monday through Friday. You can follow me on Snapchat positive dot smash, Instagram positive smash, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a or well, I'll see you when I see you, because who knows when this will go up. <laughs> Alright, bye.